I think this is the right time to talk about blade templating engine. Okay, if you uh, take a look at our uh, views inside resources folder views. Okay, inside views. So we got front page. Okay, the front page call, uh, has this bit of code. And if you uh, take a look at index page of notebook, this also contains same uh, code. So we are uh, repeating ourselves. So uh, it would be better if we do not repeat ourselves. Okay. So that is the basic programming concept. Do not repeat yourself. So uh, what Blade? Uh, uh, so Blade is a templating engine, engine uh, that Laravel uses. Okay. So that reduces our uh, so reduces uh, code. Okay. So let's see how that makes our task easier. Let's make a folder called layouts in the views folder. Okay, here I'll make new folder called uh, layouts. So inside that folder, I'm gonna create new file called and save it called. Uh, I'll call it master. Uh, let's call it base since it's gonna be base. Uh, view for all the view which we will be creating so base.blade.php and save it okay so now what uh, we will do is we will copy the same code and we will replace put it here rather than putting in this front page and repeating here in index okay let's copy all of this code from front page.blade.php to our base.blade.php save it uh, and now what we are gonna do is we will keep the code that will be keep repeating here uh, let me show you something so here let's collapse the head let me make this one slightly bigger so this is navbar okay we'll need navbar in all of our pages so i will keep this as it is okay and this uh, here is this jumbotron so this will be needing there in our uh, front page view but not in base view okay so what we're gonna do is we we leave this navbar section here and this main section from uh, below main section to uh, that container here okay we just remove this one okay we'll cut this and in place of this what we're gonna do is uh, we will uh, put at the rate yield uh, let it uh, let me give it name uh, content you can give whatever name you want okay so I'm just giving this this name okay save it now what this gonna do is this will uh, yield the content here let me give you example okay you might not understand you just yet so we have created this base but here front page so now uh, we remove all of the code above this and below this so this part this part okay this part gonna be specific for this front page okay so what we're gonna do is at the rate extends we will extend that base so for that we have to go inside layouts layouts dot base okay so this what this command does is this will uh, uh, import the this whole view from this base okay so this is the base okay base template for every pages and for front page we are extending this base layout okay also uh, we have to do one more thing here uh, at the rate section content okay and we'll end that here at the rate and section 
okay now let me explain this so we made our base layout like so okay we leave navbar here and we put this code yield content at the rate yield content okay uh, so in place of this uh, whatever we define in section will be uh, generated here okay so this is extending this whole layout this our uh, this what this does is this uh, just says to blade just you come here in this space and I will put one extra thing in here from my uh, this uh, content section okay so I hope you are getting this okay uh, now if we test our app we should get the same thing so make sure your WAMP is running okay yeah uh, now we head to our browser and notebook app slash notebooks but we have made change in our front page so let's take a look at there yeah we are getting the same thing uh, notice we are we have just defined this and we are getting the same result as previous okay so now let's do the same thing with uh, this index page we are repeating this whole lot of code instead what is the specific in this page we only keep that in this page okay so you yeah, are in this main component okay here this will be the specific for this page we'll leave it here and we'll delete everything else okay yeah let's delete everything above this nav, nav bar so now we do same thing extends this layouts inside layouts folder uh, dot play sorry <laughs> base so it will extend that file it will import that file to here in other word and it will place uh, whatever you define inside this section tag content let's end section okay let's reformat this code just make it look nicer okay so same thing we are importing that from base layout we are putting the thing which is specific in this space inside the these section tags or whatever you want to call them okay so notice that this content name is same as here yield content we can yield as many thing as you want okay just change the name okay so we made our front page look nicer uh, look lot cleaner okay just uh, also we make our notebook also so in other word we uh, blade lies this in other word okay so now let's make sure that is working if we go to notebooks okay that link is we haven't defined link yet but we will so notebooks yeah that is working fine yeah so now you know about blade okay next uh, we will create uh, the create view uh, at this moment we are just pulling data from database okay we are not creating data okay for that we need a form so first let's define method in uh, uh, your notebooks controller okay you know where to find your notebook controller app http and notebook controller here so now let's define another method so public function create okay so we created a method called created create okay that will lead us to view uh, containing form to create the notebook okay uh, this is so we'll return view which view uh, notebooks dot create 
okay just this much for this route so we haven't created this view yet but we will let's create that view so you know where to go inside resources views notebooks so here we al already got this index view but we need a create view to create form so that we can insert data in our database so let's save this as create a dot plate dot php so this controller so we haven't defined route yet okay so defining method will not enough okay we need to define a route in our web dot php file let's copy and paste this okay and let's change it to uh, what to give it name create let's give it create notebooks create so we'll hit to that create method create okay yeah we are mm, we are doing get request to this create method we created here so if we hit this route or type in type in notebook slash create we should go to this method or this method lead us to is we this lead us to this view create view which we have just created here so we'll uh, do the same thing at the rate extends uh, extend our ba base layout okay and we'll put our form inside this section content okay content tag at the rate and section okay so we'll put our form here create form so you can check whether this is working or not uh, create create notebooks okay let's go to this route no notebooks slash create notebooks slash create we should see that okay that is working now let's make a form just below here so form we'll go about doing action in just a bit okay uh, now we'll create a uh, field called just create one field input field to input the uh, name so text type text we have to give name okay as you already know name should be same as the database field which we have defined okay let's open up idsql so we need to reference database okay yeah notebook f notebooks we just got one field called name okay that's why we define name as name next uh okay that's that that should do the work for now uh we can create label also label for name and uh, it will be notebook name okay so action where this form should go this form should go to method okay called store which we'll be creating now but for now just check check this out inside our browser yeah this notebook name so let's add some styling so we'll make this form look good by adding form group bootstrap class and we'll put these two inside here and we'll add the submit field uh, so input type submit value will be done so we add here class call form control 
these are just bootstrap class to make form look nicer let's reload this yeah this looks yeah fine so we'll add class button button primary so let's take this input outside so I'm just creating form again okay? nothing uh, some advanced stuff just creating form uh, with a label okay notebook name and input field uh, okay so to enter the uh, notebook name and just submit field okay so now that should do the work okay so can let's put this inside container prettier okay now it's looking good okay so now here we can input notebook name and we should go to some route so we are not defining where this form should submit its data okay so we will do that next